Hello again, Awesomers. Your old buddy, Steve Simons, is coming back here with another podcast episode for the Awesomers.com podcast long-running series. Um, this is episode number 215, if you are keeping score at home, as I hope that you are. And uh, for the uninitiated, the secret is just go to Awesomers.com slash 215 to see today's show notes and details. So if you're watching the video, maybe there's some things you can go check out there. If you're hearing the audio, there's things you can go check out there. At least you can see post to the other format, and it's a great place to go and uh, share and like and so forth. So uh, today's episode is I'm going to talk about Axiom Zero, my very first and most important axiom. And I'm going to not only tell you what that axiom is, but I'm going to tell you why axioms are important. And then I'll kind of preview what this little mini series will look like. So first of all, what's an axiom? An axiom is kind of my way of saying, instead of me sound like a crazy old guy constantly repeating himself, I'm going to make these philosophical wisdom nuggets and call them axioms. And I truly believe that the truth of each axiom stands on its own. And the, the context and the, the placement of the axiom in my business or in our company cultures, these are consistent and they are authentic and genuine. And that's what makes axioms such a um, kind of important part of my philosophy. There's no reason that you, as a, a business leader, entrepreneur, supervisor, employee, whatever your, your role is, that you shouldn't find uh, axioms or truths or just whatever, memes uh, for the internet kids. That, that you think resonate with who you are and what you're about. So my axiom zero, I'll cut right to the chase, is I don't know nothing about nothing. And ignore the grammar, ignore the contradictory statement, and just think of it the way I intend it to be um, considered. When I walk into a room, I want to set my biases aside. Uh, when you're in a business setting, you know, and somebody says, hey, we're going to do a marketing meeting. Somebody's making a big push for this new email concept or this new finance uh, technological implementation or somebody else has a new freight forwarder. And what I try to do is if the meeting is worth having, and by the way, I'm, I want to tell you to be very careful about not just taking every meeting, but if the meeting is important enough to have that I want to walk in, I want to set my biases aside. I want to take on Axiom Zero. I don't know nothing about nothing. And I want to let the, the parties, the advocates for their positions, go around the, the table or the Zoom or the whatever it is and tell me the way they see it. If they believe, you know, um, this is a great idea and this is why the investment's worthwhile and somebody else says, no, it's not, or whatever it is, I just try to keep my biases out until it's decision time. So what does that mean? At the point where everybody's made their pitch and uh, during that time, often the leader or whoever's responsible to make the decision will ask questions, right? Your questions sometimes are leading, but I encourage you to have an open perspective about it. It's like, well, if you think this is such a great investment, you know, on what basis are we going to see a return on investment? Or uh, if you think this is so important to enhance customer service, how will we measure to know that this investment actually paid off? How will we measure the results? Is it the customer service, uh, you know, call return times are, are lower? Is it the, the customer, you know, service feedback is higher? There should be some objective measurement. So along the way, an inquisitive mind wants to know, and you ask the various parties the way, um, the, the way they want to present their arguments, and you approach it with an open mind. When I say I don't know nothing about nothing, it technically is not accurate because I know a few things about a few things, right? But in the in the scheme of it, somebody always knows more than me about everything, right? I can be a world-class expert in supply chain and entrepreneurship, in HR, in technology and whatever, but there is always somebody and a lot of somebody's who know more than me. And that's what I don't know nothing about nothing is all about is I'm here to learn. I want to be educated. I want to break my paradigms of normal and decide, you know, what is possible. And the, the truth is, if you don't set those biases aside, if you don't 
try, at least this is my opinion, if you don't try to take yourself back and go, all right, maybe what's worked for me or my experience tells me, maybe I need to open myself up to other possibilities. Now, that does not mean I just waver and everybody tells me things and I go, well, that goes totally against my instincts, my experience, and my better judgment, so I'll just go with your guts. No, it just means that I don't prejudge it. I don't walk into the meeting going, there ain't no way I'm doing this. If that was my position, if the idea is so outlandish or the concept so far afield, I would simply not have the meeting. It's like I'm not even willing to entertain uh, my biases being broken down here because they're too well entrenched or whatever we have, the solution that we have in place is working, or I don't see that problem as some problem that needs to be solved. The point is, if you decide action needs to be taken on a subject and you walk into a situation, doesn't matter if it's a meeting or some other, you know, collaboration with, with a team or partners or agencies or whomever, set your biases aside, take on the I don't know nothing about nothing approach and see what you can learn. And maybe you, you in fact will learn things that you didn't know or nuances to the subject matter that you thought you knew. And it's like, okay, well, in this context, there may be some slight variation that you hadn't yet considered. All of this falls under the I don't know nothing about nothing. This is one of, I actually made it axiom zero because it was so important to me. Zero being the most important, right? Uh, now, the rest of the axioms, I'll give you a little preview of the mini series now. So I have 22 axioms written down, zero through 22. So technically, that's 23. And there's a couple in the wings that we may publish in the near future. And these have been um, collected along the way, but not ranked. So number one, is not more important than number 20. And number 22 is not less important than number six, right? So don't think of these as a ranking situation. Think of them as philosophical, cultural touchstones that you can listen to, take on what you like, and, and dismiss what you don't like for that matter. But there'll be, you know, literally axiom zero through axiom 22. We're gonna release these daily on Awesomers, and you guys can just go through and listen to them. Most of them are quick hits. You know, I would say, you know, three to 15 minutes of me telling you why it's important, maybe giving an example or two about uh, how that, that lesson was learned and what have you. So this is a really important mini series. I want you to subscribe to the, the YouTubes and click the notifies and make sure you subscribe on your favorite podcast network. Go to iTunes or your favorite podcast network. Leave us a review. We're not above begging. Uh, five stars. We'll, we'll take it. Um, that will help us know that you guys appreciate us taking the time uh, out of our schedules to get this done. Now, I will tell you that Catalyst 88 uh, is launching a podcast network. And if you are an aspiring podcaster, but you don't know how to do production or monetization or marketing, um, you know, we may be able to be in a position to help you. So you can go to Catalyst88.com and watch that podcast network grow. Here on Awesomers, we're, we'll be the, the crown jewel, right? Because we've been doing Awesomers for a couple hundred plus episodes, and we'll be the first one. But we have a new podcast with myself and another fellow, uh, uh, codenamed Brain Lips, uh, called Rationally Irrational. And it's, it's less specifically business-oriented or e-commerce-oriented, uh, and it's more into kind of a general conversation about the state of the world and and we both kind of approach things from different places. There will be the e-commerce connection from Melissa uh, Simonson. There will be uh, other things, Empowering Women. So many, many podcasts coming down the line. So if you're an aspiring podcaster, you're listening to this, uh, go ahead and reach out to us. Uh, we uh, may want to talk about getting you on the Catalyst 88 Podcast Network. Uh, in the meantime, Awesomers, thank you for listening. You know I love entrepreneurs. Uh, as I like to say, not like, uh, oh, I love uh, good pizza. It's like, no, I really love entrepreneurs. I want to see you succeed. I want to see you reach your goals and objectives and and uh, accomplish things that maybe even you haven't contemplated yet uh, and, and reach heights you, you never thought were possible. So that actually gives me fulfillment, makes me happy to see so many of the people around me uh, succeeding and doing uh, good things. So that's it for Awesomers 215. Episode 215, so awesomers.com slash 215. That's where you go. 
this was axiom zero. I don't know nothing about nothing. And uh, I really think that's one of the most important lessons I've learned uh, in 30 years of business. I don't know nothing about nothing. And you can take that uh, right to the bank. See you later, everybody.